Hello and welcome to Airline Tycoon Deluxe and some childhood memories of Magnetism and maybe yours too. Anyway, so we will check out this game today here and uh, make a let's play series out of it. it. The game is about 20 years old but still plays pretty darn great actually according to me uh, at least and it's uh, pretty much up your alley as well if you're enjoying Airport CEO as much as I'm doing here on this channel. Uh, so this game came out 20 years ago, but uh, yeah, it's still very nice. As said, we will play around with the campaign, or we'll go through the campaigns actually, rather, and uh, we'll start with the airline tycoon campaigns, and we'll do the first mission here. I've actually done this before recording, but then the audio got all scrammed up, so. We'll do it here again, and you get to choose among four different airlines, either Falcon Alliance, Sunshine Airways, Phoenix Terrible, or Honey Alliance. And myself, I always were playing Falcon Alliance, so I will do that this time as well, uh, because we have, well, this angry Russian guy, Igor Topolevsky, and uh, this uh, Spanish Mario Suchero. Uh, so I'm not Russian, and I'm not... Uh, Spanish and I'm not a girl either. So yeah, that's basically the gist of it. The reasoning behind choosing a Falcon Airlines. And uh, here we have uh, an assist assistant or my assistant. And I do think she actually gets this voiceover. Uh, I'm actually not uh, listening to the game audio, so I quite don't know actually, but we'll be a little bit quiet here from time to time here in uh, the, the, well, the start really, uh, since that, that uh, explains how things are working and we will check in with our manager of the airport here very shortly and I think he's voiced over as well and he will give us our first mission. So here it comes and we will listen to Dr. Urig. Ah, so you're the new tycoons. Interesting. I would like to make one thing completely clear. I will not tolerate anything which upsets my airport, so mind what you're doing. Since you all received public funding to start up your airlines, I will monitor you closely for the next few days. For a start, I expect you to execute a few order flights. So here we get our first mission, and that is to carry out 10 orders in any way we would like. And he also notes that we shouldn't do anything stupid, so we will try to do just that or not do that, anything stupid that is. So we'll start with entering our office, and uh, it's not too much, but uh, from here you can do pretty much everything you need to do, and uh, using this globe is uh, the thing that we will do mostly here, uh, choosing or planning our uh, planes and uh, where they are going. So here we got scheduled for a bit of field, and under here you can have uh, some orders uh, and cargo orders, and also uh, you have the, the routes, and uh, there will be a cut there. So you have, uh, as I said, or so you have. Uh, Orders, cargo, and uh, routes, since we, and we don't have any of those yet, so this is what we'll have to deal with. So we'll have uh, London Frankfurt here uh, for Bitfield, and then we'll have London Frankfurt for uh, uh, Postam as well, and uh, we'll have to give it some space to have a free gate. So we'll exit out of there and enter to the air travel here and see what good we can get in here. Uh, so we'll take London Copenhagen, we'll basically take everything that is uh, short and uh, as soon as possible. So not too much there unfortunately, uh, but maybe we have more luck here in last minute agency. Uh, so today, over in Las Vegas, that's impossible, but we can take uh, the flight to Frankfurt. 
and the London to Dublin one. So that should be good. So we get in our first flight here for 12. We will check out uh, our first passengers a little bit later here. So London, Barcelona, definitely. And uh, yeah, that should be all right. So we'll plan in our uh, next few flights here before checking out our first real flight here. So let's see here. London, Frankfurt for today, that's fine. And I will do London, Dublin and Oslo, London. So we'll start with Oslo, London. And I will do London, Dublin for Bittefield. Uh, let's see, he puts Potsdam. We have London, Barcelona that we will get in here. And uh, London, Copenhagen. So we need a lot for uh, Potsdam on Monday, so we'll check out the air travel agency here again. So let's see here if we find anything decent. Not really the case. Uh, preferably you would like to match these up, so to say. And um, yeah. Yeah, match them up so you don't have any empty empty planes going back to London, which is our base. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can, uh, you can. That's kind of hard, but with the routes, it's much easier to do uh, because well, the routes are all, always going back and forth. Uh, at least if you plan them in that way, so then you never are flying empty. Uh, of course, if you are having it properly priced, but that is a whole different story that, that we will get in with later uh, along this series. Actually, just got home here pretty recently as well from uh, Mexico flying uh, business class, which were a very nice experience, even though it unfortunately was with Lufthansa, which is, uh, well, not the greatest uh, business class in uh, the business, I would say, uh, but still very nice experience with good service and everything like that. So uh, definitely want to do that again, but uh, we'll see. Uh, maybe it was the only time I will do it in my lifetime, but uh, we'll see. Uh, but today uh, it's the weekend actually and I picked up this lovely game, uh, as, which I said played uh, tons of 20 years ago very cheap on a steam sale for one 1.5 euro so really pretty much nothing which is pretty darn great um, i think this game is a lot of fun and you have all different small and neat features and uh, secrets that we will uh, show you throughout the way and uh, here you actually have some uh, some ads pretty much about uh, the developer or I think this is rather uh, the, uh, the the not the publisher not the developer publisher uh, I think is spellbound uh, but I don't remember uh, totally so let's actually check out our schedule here so you got to go to the office to check out the schedule which is uh, a bit of a bummer, uh, but uh, yeah, Potsdam, so we can have 180 person flights for Monday, doesn't really matter. Uh, we can't have anything more for today. Uh, so let's see here. Today, no, unfortunately not. Monday, uh, don't really want to do that. Can't do today, can't do today. Yeah, so unfortunately it looks like we are pretty much out of option. We'll check out the air travel here again and see if we can't find anything decent. No, I don't really want to fly to Dakar on Monday. Keep London. Athens, London. Something Tuesday, Reykjavik, London, no. What is this, actually? 
Tunis, yeah. No, this doesn't work at all for me. PMI London, London back or, or actually this kind of works, but it's two different days, so uh, I will not actually bother with that. So uh, you can end your day early or it will end at uh, 18 o'clock, but we will end it early here. I don't really think we can do much more. Uh, so we will end it here and like, go to the next day and here you get the briefing. So I've done six orders while the opponents have done one or two orders. So definitely ahead there and also our personal is better than uh, the opponents and our planes in, is in perfect condition. So you get a short briefing there and then you also get a briefing from the manager here, how you are doing in general, but also these numbers. Uh, the same one that you got in text before. So that's pretty nice. And you get, as I said, some details here. And uh, for Falcon Airlines, uh, our airline is neither light or disliked. Condition of our planes are admirable and uh, very happy with the competence of our employees. So that's pretty darn good. So let's see here if we can get in some more air travel until Sunday. Yeah, that's good. London, Ankara, don't really. London, Detroit, definitely not. And to Athens now. And to Detroit. That were uh, quite a few very long journeys. That's actually not that usual uh, to have. Uh, but uh, I guess uh, that were the case today. And speaking of today, we can do London, Paris, definitely. And Amsterdam, Dublin today should be possible. Vienna, London might be able to do that. Uh, and if you were looking at the contracts very fast there while I were clicking, you actually get a penalty if you fail the contracts uh, or the orders. Uh, but uh, it should be pretty all right. So let's see here. Monday, Monday, we need to get in Amsterdam and uh, London, Paris, Amsterdam, Dublin. So let's see. First turn one, and that should be like this. And yeah, a little cut there. My better half needed some uh, some help there, and uh, yeah, so you, you will see a small jump in the timeline. Uh, I'm not too sure you actually can pause the game here, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, unfortunately, we will get a penalty here because well. I took on too many jobs here, so let's look at this. So it has a premium of 81k and a pound of 29k. And uh, we will get the penalty at once, or, or if we discard it, otherwise we will get the penalty tomorrow, I guess. So we'll flip this in a little bit later, and let's see here. It feel so we will not actually get the penalty, because we can get it in here on a bitfield. So bitfield could use a few flights here for tomorrow. So let's check that out. So definitely you can take that one. And that one. And then to Athens. Yeah, we can do that together with Cairo actually. So that should be nice. Hopefully I looked correctly there and that they weren't in different different numbers of people, so to say. So we have, let's see here, London, Athens, 180. Cairo, London, yeah, it was different, but it uh, should be all right anyway. London, Athens, uh, Cairo, London. So still pretty, pretty long, actually, flights here between. Uh, so that's not too great, but uh, that's really how it's how, how the game works, so to say. So we should have one or two more flights for Bitterfield for tomorrow. Other than that, we are pretty much filled up for the next 24 hours with uh, flights. So this is for Thursday, can't use that, but uh, that should be all right. Tuesday, we can take that if we don't have anything better, but Paris to London is better. Uh, this is actually a pretty good premium, so we'll take it. 
uh, and no penalty as well on that one so that's pretty great and we'll go up here and uh, plan in uh, these last few flights and then we'll end the day and i think we'll manage to finish the mission by then so let's see here paris london pmi london let's see let's get in pmi london pharma mallorca and paris london i will plan in Amsterdam to London right here and that should be enough for us to manage to snatch up the victory here for this first episode so I hope you have enjoyed and if you have done so remember to smash that like button and also if you haven't done so already remember to hit that subscribe button so you're not missing out on any of the content that we upload daily here at Roslo Gaming. So let's check out the briefing here and let's see if the boss thinks that we have done a good job and uh, finished the mission or the first mission here and uh, let's see here. So we managed 11 orders so far after two days with our opponents doing three or four. And let's see here. Yeah, mission accomplished. So we did our job here and uh, that will be everything for this episode, but uh, in uh, the next episode we'll take the next mission, of course. So, if you want to see more, remember to subscribe. And uh, with that said, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time in the next episode, or anything else here on the channel. Bye bye! You have been watching Rollsclaw Gaming, and I hope you have enjoyed. On clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right our latest upload to the channel and with that said thank you again for watching.